In this video, I'm going to show you how I connected my five HD screens to my computer. I happen to use the AMD WX5100 graphics card and it can take six screens and I have five at the moment. I have used six screens on the Fire Pro card, but this happens to be the Radeon Pro. All right, so this is just to show you what I did and how I use my computer. As you can see, these are 27 inch screens and uh, I'm going to just show you some of the connections and how I did it. There you can see these are independent screens. Each screen acts independently, so if they are not slave screens. It's not a duplicate. For example, many people have commented on my other videos with six screens saying, well, it's just uh, the same screen over and over again and it's definitely not these are five independent screens you can do different things on each screen and i have got videos showing that i even streamed five hd blu-rays or eight, five blu-rays from this one card all right so let's just have a look at the connections so the best way to connect multiple monitors, especially when it's more than three, is to use DisplayPort. Now here are the DisplayPort connections. Now before I explain to you what this is, just having a look at the back here, you'll see I have DisplayPort 1, 2 and 3. So those go directly to three monitors. Now on the left hand side here, or your right hand side, you'll see that there is a DisplayPort hub. Now what this does is this is a single wire coming in there and it expands to three monitors. So if Effectively, you could get six monitors because there's one, two, three, four, and I've got a gap here. I have not put the six monitor, five, six. So it does take one of these slots away, but then it gives you three. So what this does is this is a hub, meaning it takes the bandwidth from this port and it shares it across three display port um, outputs. Don't be misled and think that, well, these are now poorly uh, rendered monitors. And no, not at all. You can still have 4K resolution on these outputs. So uh, this is a viable solution if you are having um, uh, space requirements or uh, uh, limitations and you want to have additional monitors. I've used this for more than three years. And I have a video showing six monitors and it is stable and it runs well. If you do run into a problem, there is a, color, uh, a reset button here on the back which you press it and it does reset the display port. Uh, uh, monitors okay so what you got here is you've got a three directly connected display port and two here which gives you five now it doesn't mean that you have to use display port for uh, in terms of the monitors for example now shortly I'll show you the monitors but here you can see one of my monitors does not have display port it has HDMI so there is an HDMI to DVI converter which then goes into an active and I say the word active um, DVI to display port converter this comes with the graphics card but you can buy them separately and I have bought them separately and they work very well there are different brands and you've got to be careful it's got to be active which means it's powered it's taking some power from the display port connection and what it does is it provides connectivity to monitors that are not display port so you could also have a analog monitor and I think I've got a display port to analog converter I'll just have a look I think it's somewhere here here is a mini display port to VGA adapter. I haven't used this one yet, but here is the tried and tested active display port. There it is, and this on the other side is the uh, DVI. All right, so monitor number one, there's display port and there's the power. Monitor number two is display port and power. So these are directly connected to the graphics card. There are no adapters en route to those monitors. Okay, monitor three, you can see there's display port. And now monitor four, this happens to be HDMI. This monitor is not display port enabled. So you can have multiple monitors without having all of them on the display port platform. For example, you could have even four of them could be uh, converted. So I showed you those little converters and those converters work very well. You could have all your display ports on the um, on your graphics card set up to be converted to HDMI or DVI. So I'm just showing you here for um, example that it does work. 
Right, and then the final monitor is also display port enabled. So this is connected directly with the display port. And uh, that is how you, can, you, you connect up the five screens. Now, you might be wondering what happens when you plug in the monitors? Does it know uh, the order when you restart your computer? Does it know which computer is going where? And the answer is yes. But if you look here, once you've set up your screens in the way you want them, you'll say identify, and then, for example, four is there, one is there, right. So that's fine. Once you've set this up, it doesn't matter if you restart your computer or whatever, you, uh, you put it to sleep, it'll always come back to this layout. And even if I unplug one right now, so I'm going to unplug, which would be number two. Now it'll say, I'll say identify. And you can see that it knows that a screen has been unplugged. Now I'm going to plug it back in. And it should be able to identify that two was plugged back in and you see where it put it there. So even if your monitors get unplugged or bumped or the, the, the power cable gets uh, uh, switched off at the plugs, when you've set it up, it will remember it. Now, in the old days, it was a little bit more tricky. Sometimes you'd come to the computer and it would have forgot the layout and you'd have to use the Catalyst, uh, the AMD software, to set up the uh, um, layout. But now Windows 10 offers this very neatly and you just use the native uh, screen settings on Windows 10 and it's fine. Now, you, you might also want to know if you change the custom scaling. For example, could this one have uh, a higher scaling than this one? And the answer is yes, and it will remember that too. So you could have this on magnify mode, this one on a DPI of like 125 and so forth, and it will remember it and keep them, uh, keep those settings from different, from reboots or sleep modes. So it does remember the settings. Right, so this is my five screen full HD setup, and I'm just showing you what it looks like and how I've aligned them. I've used various uh, stands. As you can see, yes, I know the wiring isn't great. And this is my setup. And I, it works very well. And I've always said one screen is very slow. When I say slow, I mean in terms of work. Two screens, you will work twice as fast, meaning how, how fast you can get your work done. Three screens, you can add a third to your work um, your work rate and then fourth you can add another 10% and fifth sixth well that's just showing off anyway thanks for watching